Welcome back. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about some of the shifts that might be required from developers mindset and testers mindset point of view. Right. Uh, so, let me give you some of the examples which is required when uh, when it comes to working in an agile team. Right. Uh, let me begin with uh, a testers mindset. Right. Uh, in traditional ways of developing software, the main responsibility of the tester was to find as many defects as possible in the system and try to break the system whenever they are testing any given uh, uh, software for that matter. Right. Uh, in agile, what we say is the tester's mindset should be more of a preventing defects from occurring in the first place rather than finding defects, right. So, finding defects, fixing them is mostly the reactive way, whereas preventing defects from occurring in the first place is, it is more of a proactive basis of uh, eliminating defects in the system. So, there is a lot of shift in terms of mindset which is required when it comes to a tester's role in an agile project. The tester should closely work with the development team to understand how a system is being built, help them understand the best possible system as far as possible. As soon as the code is ready, I mean developed by the developer, the tester should give him a feedback in terms of the developer's work. What has been done is meeting the customer expectations or not. So, do not wait till the QA build is given and the testing code is deployed in the QA environment, then you start testing. That is not the way to go about when it comes to working in an agile team. So, in an agile team, the tester should work next to the developer as and when the code is getting built, give him a feedback whether it is meeting your end user expectations or not. Right. Uh, so, that is a shift in mindset which is required from a tester's point of view, more of a proactive basis of finding defects rather than uh, reactive ways of uh, finding bugs in the system. Right. Uh, and as early as possible ensure that the tester gives the feedback to the developer because tester is is the first quality check when it comes to the code that is being developed by a developer. From developer's point of view, right, gone are the days where we said that quality was only responsible by tester. Now, the developer is also responsible towards the quality of the software, right. That is where you have to learn modern engineering practices. For example, test driven development, behavior driven development, acceptance test driven development, using continuous integration, continuous delivery practices, right. So, all these practices are really required for producing a working software iteration on iteration. If Amazon is able to make those many releases in as of today, it is because of the practices that is being used in Amazon. So, similarly, any given agile team, right, writing software should be treated as a software craftsmanship, right. It is basically a craftsmanship is called uh, what is required from developers point of view. So, a lot of shift in mindset is required where it is not just about writing some code. It is about writing quality code and producing a high quality software which actually meets your customers expectations. Right? So, that is the mindset, which, mindset shift which is required from a developer's point of view. Right? Uh, so, for example, if you talk about TDD, right? TDD is a practice where, uh, where it is similar to unit tests. The flip side of writing unit tests is after writing the production code, if I write unit tests, most of the times developer, developer's tendency is write to tests which are actually getting passed by default, right, where the chances of finding defects is very, very minimal. So, with unit tests, finding defects is very minimal. Whereas, if you implement something called as TDD, there is a high accuracy of finding defects in the system as early as possible as and when you are building the code, making changes in the code. Right? Similarly, you are having a practice called as continuous integration, 
where the beauty of integration uh, continuous integration is to give you the feedback about the code written by the developer instantly as soon as the developer checks in the code there is some form of feedback that you can get by implementing something called as continuous integration practice so these are some of the things which is required when you when you talk about working as a developer or a tester in a agile team right so also remember that it's a collaborative way of working so wherever possible you pair work the developer tester pair work and see how best you can write the high quality software which actually meets the customer needs at the end, end of the day and which solves your customers problems so work together as a team right that's when that's what is required to build a high quality software thank you so here comes the end of this particular module where we talked about individuals and interactions and we also talked about how it is important to have a face to face conversations in order to solve problems quickly and collectively make those decisions which is best from product development's point of view next module uh, we are going to talk about value driven development